Hi, I'm registered dietitian Molly Morgan, and I'm here today to talk about eating healthy when you're out on the town. But I have a question for you guys first. Do you know what a registered dietitian is? No. No idea? No. How about you, James? No. No? Do you think I help people learn how to eat healthy or unhealthy? Healthy. Healthy. What do you think? Healthy. He's right? You're right. That's what my job is. I help professional athletes. I help people in the community. I work with food companies. All to help people eat healthier. So today we're going to talk about when you're out around town, if you were to stop in at a restaurant, might what might some of the healthier options be? So do you guys have a favorite thing you order when you're out? Or, you know, what do you like? Um, well, for drinks, I like, I like the ice water. Ice water. That's yeah. a really good choice. Water's important, right? Yeah. How about you? What's your favorite thing when you're out and around? Uh, same with drinks. I, um, I love drinking water, and it's healthy for you and everything. Good. So Jonathan and James, you're making some good choices already. So one example here I want to show you is if you're at a place where you can get chicken, and this is just kind of a, a general rule of thumb, is you want to always look for grilled. So try to stay away as much as you can from the fried stuff, because there's extra fat in that, right? And choosing a vegetable for the side dish is really important. Look how fun this looks. You want to pick it up? Corn on the cob. This meal here has about 500 calories and only about 9 grams of fat. And that's actually about a quarter of what a regular meal that might be fried and, you know, fried on the side would have. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at the drink that's with it. What is this? Uh, milk. 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 What do you think about milk? Milk help you, help your body, yeah. Yeah. Your help your muscles. What else? Strengthens your bones. Yeah, absolutely. So when you're out, while water is an awesome choice, milk is actually, I like to call it an energy drink because it gives your body the important nutrients to really have good energy, bone building, calcium, help those muscles grow. So it's a smart choice when you're out. And now guys, if you're at a Mexican type restaurant, do you notice something that's missing from the plate that you might usually get? Chips or french fries? Chips. You're right. A lot of times, taco type places have chips to go along with the meal. Skip the chips, ask for some applesauce, which is basically like eating a piece of fruit, and have that with your quesadilla. And then here, what's that big number you see there, James? 100%. Right. 100% juice. So Jonathan, if you're choosing juice, make sure you see those big numbers because that means it's really coming from all fruit. Sometimes stuff looks like it's juice, but it's really not. So that's a smart choice to add as a drink too. So skip the chips, add the juice, and you're on your way to having a delicious quesadilla. This re any ideas how many calories? Do you have any idea? No. You wanna make a guess? 500. Hey, good job, 414. So 500-ish calories, about 12 grams of fat. And again, this is significantly less than the other choices you would maybe find at a Mexican restaurant. Now last but not least, let's talk about burger places. And with a burger, you might have what? At a Mexican place, French. you have chips. French fries. Right, good job. So instead of French fries, although they're tempting, they're very high in calories and don't give our body really great energy. Instead, apples are a smart choice and they're kind of fun, right, when they're sliced up. So have a small burger and the apple slices and then I'm gonna slide this right over because you'll add a milk to that too, all for about 500 calories again, and about 15 or so grams of fat. And again, can you believe this? But that 15 grams of fat, does that sound like a lot? Not too bad? You're right, because it's actually about a quarter of what some of those monster burgers have. So really smart choices. Now, you guys, I think, are very busy, right? Right, busy schedules. So what is something you were both saying that you like to take with you? What are you telling me? Water. water. Right. Why is water important? It helps your body. It, it gives you energy. It gives you energy. That's right. And did you know that your body's like 60 to 70 percent water? Mm. Crazy, right? So water is essential for keeping good health, keeping your energy up, and actually helps keep you healthy too, which that's real important, right? But some other things you can take with you when you're on the go, this is actually one of my favorites, is a banana. If you ever go to my car, I always have a banana in my car ready to go for a snack. Milk boxes, always good. Calcium, right? Bone building calcium. Believe it or not, guys, I even eat out of little snack cups like this. Me. I'm old, right? Yeah. But what's in there? Do you know? Cheerios. Yeah, Cheerios. Whole grain cereal, okay? So whole grain cereal in a little cup is always a great option. An applesauce, a cheese stick, 
or of course a piece of apple or a big apple to take along with you. Get your fruit, some calcium in, you're good to go. And of course, don't forget the water. Water, you're right. All right guys, so now that we've looked at all these healthy options, there's something we need to do. We need to take a look at the stuff that you might not want to have so often. The uh, tasty but unhealthy stuff that we need to limit, okay? okay. All right, you ready? So now we're back with some of the, let's call it maybe unhealthier options that you can get when you're out, right? But let's talk about what's in these things. So Jonathan, we have, what? do you know what this is? Um, milkshake. Yeah, strawberry milkshake, a small, might I add. This is a, the small size you can get. And in this one shake, get this, there's 420 calories, 19 grams of fat, that is more fat than was in any of those meals we took a look at, the whole meal. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that that's a lot. lot. So the message here though, guys, and this is very important for everybody watching too, is that it's not that you can't ever have this, but that it's really important that you limit. So every time we go out to eat, should we be choosing a shake with our meal? No, no. Sometimes, okay, every once in a while. All right, let's look, look at French fries. This is about how many fries come in a medium french fry. Do you have a calorie guess on this one? 200. 200. A lot. A lot. That's a good guess. It has about 380 calories and 15 grams of fat in this. Can you believe oh my goodness. it? Can you believe That's it? a lot. It is. And again, this has more fat than those meals that we were looking at. So maybe another way to kind of approach french fries if you're out, maybe your whole family could share a fry. Then you all have a little bit of the taste without overdoing it. That's a yeah. good idea. Helps cut down on the portion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, soda, pop, whatever you want to call it. This is a small 12 ounces, and we are going to have you, James, measure out how many teaspoons of sugar are in this one small soda. Go to it. Let's count with them. Can you count with me? One, One two, two, three, four, four uh-oh, five, five, two more, six, six seven. seven. You can stop there. There's seven teaspoons of sugar in one small 12-ounce soft That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, right? So, what you need to know is that it doesn't mean, again, that you can never have soda, but it shouldn't be an all-the-time drink. Not every day and not every time you're out to eat, because look at that. That's a lot. It's you a lot just came sugar. from the dentist, right? Yeah. What do you think your dentist would say about that drink? Uh, you can't have it. <laughs> yeah. Not good for the teeth and not good for your body, not providing you with the right type of energy, all right? So before we close, I guess, today, guys, do you have any questions for me? You, you have a registered dietitian, nutritionist, you now know what I do. What do you think? What, any, what are your well, questions? Is it okay to sometimes go out to eat, and how often should you to stay healthy? Great question, James. Well, here would be my rule of thumb, is that if you're eating out a few times a week right now, is always try to cut back. So let's say one time a week or less, but the rule of thumb really would be less often the better. We were talking before, you, your mom's a great cook, you eat at yeah. home a lot, that's awesome. So the more often you can eat at home, the better. But let's make a goal of one time a week or less. But none of this stuff when you're there. Deal? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about your question? Uh, if the restaurant has a chicken and a burger, which one should you get? That's a really good question too, Jonathan. What you would want to get actually would be the chicken. But do you think, what, what might I tell you about what type of chicken that you'd want to get? Do you have any idea? Um, maybe um, grilled chicken. That's right. So if there's like a grilled wrap or grilled chicken salad or grilled chicken sandwich, those would be all smarter choices. And you want to learn the biggest insider trick to eating out. A lot of sandwiches have mayonnaise on them. And just by asking for no mayonnaise on your sandwich, you save about 11 grams of fat. Okay, so that would be a quick tip you could do when you're out next time too. You'll impress your parents, impress your friends, be eating healthier yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me today, guys. It was nice talking with you about nutrition. And uh, are you gonna make some smarter choices, do you think, next time you're out? Yes. Yeah? yeah? All right, and enjoy it too, right? Yeah. That's right.